Hello, my name is Harriet Lamming and I'm an architect and the business owner at JDA Lamming Architects. We're residential architects and we specialise in helping homeowners who want to change their living space, improve their home, their home's not working for them and they really need some help in fathoming where to start, how to do it and who to talk to. So we like to work with them to uncover what their ideal style is what they're looking for to, to achieve in their renovations or their extension or their new home and help them navigate their way through all the process. JDA Lamin has been operating for um, just over six years now. Um, initially the business was started back in the 80s by John Douglas and it was JDA Architects and then in 2017, he decided that he was going to retire and he asked me if I would be interested in taking over the business. So it was a new challenge and I thought, why not? So I decided to take it up and become a business owner and then include my name into the business name so that it reflected my ownership as well. I think my favourite type of project is really doing um renovations or alterations to existing homes because I love working with the challenge of what the clients already got in their home what's not working for them and then trying to come up with a solution that's really transforms their home into something they can be proud of and really enjoy living in so the challenge of working with something that's already there and turning it into a modern beautiful home is really exciting for me so I think the process takes a while. It's really about getting to know the homeowners, getting to know what's not working for them, how they want to live, what are their biggest challenges, and then really just guiding them through the process and helping them to achieve their ideal home, um, as well as providing obviously design ideas and advice and helping them choose all the finishes and fixtures that are going to go into their home and helping them find other people they need to work with, whether it's a builder or engineer or a um, landscape gardener or an interior designer. I had uh, had a project recently in Brighton that I started working on probably in 2021. It had some real challenges getting it through council because we were trying to do something that normally they probably wouldn't have allowed, but the circumstances meant that we could challenge that and try and get it through and we succeeded in that and we built this fantastic little studio apartment above a sort of workshop in this um somebody's garden that they had fully landscaped with a pool and tennis courts and a beautiful alfresco area with an outdoor kitchen and it was finished last year and the client's really happy with it and I was down there last week we had a photography shoot and it just all looked fantastic. It all worked well together. And I was really proud of what we've achieved together. Um, I decided to become an architect because I think as a, well, partly my father's an architect, so I was familiar with the profession, which a lot of people aren't because it's something a bit unknown. Um, and I also really loved drawing when I was a child. I used to draw lots of houseboats for some reason. I was a bit obsessed with those, but Obviously, there's not much work drawing houseboats, so I thought going into architecture might satisfy some of that um, need. But also, it's quite a technical subject as well to study, so you really have to understand how buildings are constructed and how they go together and what, you know, some of the more prosaic things like waterproofing and um, you know, um, roof drainage and footing design. So... It's really a combination of the creative and the practical, which I really enjoy. YTM's probably transformed my experience of being a business owner because at the beginning I was very naive. I didn't really know anything about running a business. And I was sort of thrown in at the deep end of it, taking over a business um, which had been run well, but with a different sort of um, focus than I wanted to have. Um, meeting Karen and Lee helped me gain confidence in meeting new people and talking to people I didn't know and talking about my business so that other people would understand what I did and why it was of value. And they also helped me on the business journey because I've learned so much about different aspects of running a business, about marketing, for example, um, 
website or business planning or um, pricing. And those are all been sort of extra benefits of being a YTM member that, you know, initially I hadn't even really thought might be part of the journey. And also I've met fantastic people and that's really helped me find people to help me with my business, like, for example, my bookkeeper or my website designer or people who have written various things for me. So that's really helped me as well. Um, our, but my process, I love starting the Zoom call because I, I like to be able to see someone's face when I'm talking to them and sort of feel if we've got that right connection to work together. But to contact me, it's either a phone call or a um, website inquiry form. I'll get back to you and we can arrange a Zoom chat and that's just the initial consultation, which is complimentary and it's just to find out if we're the right fit for you and if your project is something that we can help you with.